well. So that concludes your Alienware roster rundown. We're in now with the pistol round. Let me put it onto the old good old auto director. Let's see if we can uh, see what we can see actually, because auto director isn't particularly showing much. There, it looks like we are going to be seeing towards apps here. So that's going to be the uh, the main focus point for the TCM terrorists. Basically, just got to get out here and get a pick onto quad side. Now it looks like quad has fallen back. Uh, I'm thinking that's Cappy who's watching Quad at the moment. You've got PHP also watching for the, uh, the the big site covered fake over towards Banana, which is definitely more viable now in Go, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I totally agree. Uh, we see the uh, uh, the TCM gaming uh, squad is a bit uh, hesitant in moving up towards that middle area. They think it's a bit too quiet in mid, so the bomb has... Oh. Wow. Guardian. He kind of orbs it with a pistol, doesn't he? Yeah, sick mode engaged from Guardian. He managed to grab that headshot. Now, the switch has come in, though, so we are seeing a banana rush here. Guardian does seem to be quick on the rotation as well, so bows well for 3D Max. They should be on for the retake here as PHP shuts down Strugs with a headshot. We're going to see Tornado totally moving into the ruins, but not able to uh, to get the second kill. Does manage to bag one, though, so he only took uh, some 28 damage to do so as well. Now, Flo moving forward. He's going to drop PHP. Obviously, pistols now... I'd have to say heavily T-favored because of those Glocks. I mean, a lot of people are just not willing to acknowledge how OP the actual Glock is because they like playing with it. Yeah, I know. Uh, I would say that obviously the Glock is a lot more pow powerful than the P2000 that the CT start with. Uh, so that's a quite a big shift from the yeah. other I was gonna, I was going to say the ironic thing is that's ass backwards from every other version yeah. of CS. So, <laughs> it is. Um, Really, it's, it's, it's quite surprising. I suppose it's a nice change, but I would much rather have, because the pistol runs can dictate on maps like you know Train and, and, uh, and Nuke, who actually picks up the victory. Yeah. I would like to see that evened out, um, to, to be perfectly honest. Now, as you can see from the scoreboard, you had two frags from um, Tornado Tony and CLY and one from Flo to close out the round there for uh, TCM. So 3D Max officially on the back foot here. The next two rounds should go in favour of uh, TCM. Big shout out to uh, to X Man who runs TCM. He does an exceptional job for UK esports. He's one of the. I know you've played underneath him as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I've I had mean, uh, Jim is at the end of the day. Jim's a super nice fantastic guy. Fantastic so lad. Yeah, and I know I know we shouldn't fanboy, but I've, I've got to give Jim his props. Basically, now we are seeing uh, SMG fire going on towards Cappy. That's going to do 25 damage to him. So good initial picks here from uh, from the guys on TCM. Looks like they are going to be looking to just create the opening and then push towards the apps. That is going to happen. Stavey on the boost. He's going to be dropped by uh, Guardian, but I think the damage has been done now. That opens up the position for the push on mid here. As you can see, Tornado Tony going forward. It's going to be a submachine gun headshot to drop uh, to, to drop Beda. So we are going to see PHP reply the headshot of his own, but it's not going to stop the plant here. And as you can see, it is a fairly safe plant for Apps. So probably going to see Tornado Tony go up into Apps here and, and just uh, leave Strugs on, on quad side to cover this this possible retake. Um, I mean, we are we are seeing a very slow retake. So I would say. Would you agree they're just setting up for exit frags here? Uh, yeah, totally. There's uh, no point pushing in there with pistols onto that A bomb. So, at least when they're uh, in a one man deficit, snakes uh, here are getting picked off in mid. It's all down to PHP to try to pick up that. Uh, well, pick up that exit kill to try to get a weapon onto that next eco round. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice, but I mean, it's not the be all end all picking up submachine guns. I mean, you, you, you could argue either way, though, couldn't you? Yeah. But, you know, possible retake posi position that they did have because he was approaching the bomb site from both sides. Yeah. But uh, slim to nil chance of doing it. Obviously, so. yeah, they could have had a successful takeover there, but it's uh, slim chances uh, considering you could either you could just set up for exit frags and maybe guarantee yourself one or two guns. And uh, yeah, that's a lot more useful for the, the next eco round. As we can see, standard sort of CT split here. Uh, three over towards the covered site, two over towards Banana. Obviously, Banana being harder to approach and less desirable these days. Um, it, it does mean that we have started seeing teams just put one guy on Banana, kind of, you know, Alan Nuke style. But obviously, the rotation's probably too long to make just one guy stack at this level of play. So, um, not surprised that we are seeing two man stack on the site now. Flo moving in, he's going to grab the kill onto, uh, onto Snikes. It looks like PHP is going to grab double for mass headshots. So the, uh, the the buy coming in here from 3D Max, and really, it's an, it's an early buy. It's a bit of a rush buy. The bomb's gone down. You would have to say, even though it's a three on two here, I'm still going to give the advantage here to, well, saying that, no, they've lost position. So, yeah, yeah they're, they're in a really bad spot here. They're going to get peppered from all sides. That's going to be shut down. If they would have actually spread out on the bomb site then, they would have had positional advantage. They would, they would have been able to hold it, play the bomber, pick up the victory, and uh, and, and cost 3D Max a you know, very costly buy. But... Not to be, and we are now seeing a situation unfold where 3D Max take the momentum here on the uh, the much favoured CT side. So, 
any uh, any hopes of, of TCM actually getting a decent stack of runs on the board and some cash on the belt yeah. seem to have just gone out the window. Ah, okay. Uh, well, uh, I think it's uh, a bit early to call it, but uh, seeing as it's uh, quite a balanced map, but it, it turned out uh, like a really wise decision what uh, 3D Max did there that early by uh, kind of caught uh, TCM a bit off balance. And uh, any time you can... Uh, get your opponents off balance, it's just going to be great for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. Anytime you can discombobulate your opponent, they don't know what's hitting them. Um, if they're expecting, you know, just just basically uh, pistols, and you, you come with full, you know, 7-6-2 rounds, um, you, you're going to change the course of that push. You're going to cause maybe a, a slight, you know, moment of hesitation from yeah. the second guy into the site. That usually does lead to two kills. Now we are going to see Snikes, PHP, Snikes, and PHP again pick up four kills between them. Final one comes in from the pistol. That's going to be all five taken down for no losses here from 3D Max. So good for the old bank balance. Obviously, they didn't really have to buy because they captured some of the uh, the AK. So it's not like they had to replace all the FAMASs at once. Um, PHP still rocking a FAMAS, but he is he is pretty good for FAMAS. I mean, that's he was always pretty solid in uh, in, in CSS with FAMAS, wasn't he? Yeah, give him pretty much any weapon, and he'll uh, he'll own up the other team. Uh, obviously, AKs and M4s being his uh, favorite. He w I think he got. Uh, I think it was the uh, 2000, uh, 2008 best rifler of Europe in CS Source. Yeah, rightfully so as well. Yeah. I mean, ba back in sort of 2007, you know, mid 2008, there was nobody who could touch him. I mean, a large part of that was because he was playing with that Reason squad and it afforded him, you know, the, the teamwork to, to be that good. But yeah. still, his individual skill is, 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 you know, very, very high. Um, in this day and age now, obviously, with the 1 6 guys coming over as well, we've seen a melding and basically we've got a new playstyle. So. Um, it's it's not CS 1.6 and it's not CS uh, CSS. So, really, I, I'd say he stacks up fairly well with the rest of the gold guys. But I don't think he is where he was at in CSS. Now that might come in time, but to be honest, on this 3D Max team, I don't see him getting the support to uh, to allow that to happen. To be honest, no, it's uh, they, they're pretty much three out of uh, five from that recent gaming team. But uh, I think with some time, they, uh, he will have that kind of support again. As we ramble about, there's uh, I, I, I honestly think they need UN back in the fold. And they need they need to just just put the time in because I mean reason after they picked up those three uh, I series victories, notorious for for not putting any time in. I mean they just wanted to do small local lands after that. Yeah. Um, which to be honest, considering that CSS was on the uh, the downswing, I can understand why. But with Go being you know on the upswing now, we're seeing more and more tournaments being announced every day. Um, it would be nice to see them perhaps get the band back together. Anyway, bomb going down here on the covered site. Headshot coming in from Flo, that's going to drop uh, Snakes as he tries to get in. It looks like we are going to see Strugs flash out. It's gonna be, in fact, it was a grenade, it wasn't a flash. He picks up the kill with that, and that's Guardian dropped. So the, uh, the second gun round here goes over to 3D Max. And uh, so, it's, so it's, what am I talking about? To TCM, I yeah, should say. TCM, yeah. And uh, 3D Max now find themselves sort of doing a bit of a mixed buy here. We've got the, uh, the weapons being thrown around spawn, as you can see. So we got, is that two ops in play? Yeah, they've got so. two ops now, and I, uh, I kind of like it. No, I, d I don't want them to play with it every round. But uh, including it sometimes is uh, really good. I think it's a good idea stacking both of those mid though and not putting one banana around. Uh, it's, a, it's a weird setup. I haven't seen that before, but it's good because one will fire and then the AKs of the T's will start pushing. Get baited in. And then, oh, sh oh shit, there's another one. Yep. So yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting, but I haven't seen it before. It is kind of a one-trick pony though. I mean, yep. You would only get away with pulling that once, to be honest. Yeah. Um, anyway, here we go. Can get the sixth round of the uh, the first half here. Five on five. Flow has taken a little bit of damage. Nobody uh, taken any fire so far from 3D Max. So if there is an advantage to be had. It is on 3D Max right now. Although saying that, if you look at the grenades, I would have to say that when it comes to approaching a site, TCM should be able to get in. Now Guardian with that first pick, he is going to shut down Stavey as he tries to exit the apartments. Looks like we are going to see Banana being broached slowly here. He came with a three man stack on that. Whoa! That was. I, he must have heard something then because there was nothing shown. But we are going to see the push forward. Is Tornado Tony moves in with the AK 47. Does manage to grab one frag. He's shut down oh. by Snakes though. Double frag. That's going to really slow down this push here from, uh, from CLY. He stops to grab himself an AK 47. Bomb is up on CLY, so let's, uh, let's drop on onto his vision now. Here we go. Now he's managed to be quite sneaky and he's pushed all the way through to back, back of ruins, but. Yeah, not going to happen for him. He's shut down in the gay spot, and that's pretty much the uh, the round though. So, tied game now, three apiece. As you can see from the scoreboard, your top scoring server is going to be Guardian, seven, uh, one and three, and second place that's honor is going to go to PHP, six, one and three. So, 
Um, it's really what I expected so far. I mean, there's the CT bias kicking in now after the, uh, the initial pistols and then the, I'd say, I'd say slight upset on the, the third round. Um, yeah, but we talked about this earlier. We can see Guardian has picked up the AWP and he stopped fragging for his team yep. and he's pretty much just getting the difference maker at the end of the day. Now, a big apps brush being shut down by Cappy. He's going to uh, spray and pray with that AK-47. Just managed to pick up two kills. Stavey coming in on the backside, though. Just managed to grab himself a headshot. Looks like the other see Guardian holding the site down. Manages to bolt off another rifle bolt. And there he goes. There's the, uh, the AWP kill to follow it up. So a hat-trick of kills that round for Guardian. And uh, considering that way back when, you know, when people were saying, like, he was just not going to be a suitable replacement for WT. <laughs> um, how wrong were those people? Um, no. Sure, Do we sure. have a pause here? It does seem like we do. Great. Are we ever going to get to sleep tonight? <laughs> Not quite sure what's going on here. It does look like we're having a little bit of an issue, probably with um, you know hardware again, I would imagine. I'm giving um, bad signals to Richard Lewis right now, because I blame everything on him. Well, that's, <laughs> we want bonus that's basically what it boils down to, yeah. Any, any hatred um, goes towards Gonzo, because yeah. everything is Gonzo's fault. Yeah. Right. The, uh, the sluggish world economic situation. <laughs> At the that's end Richard Lewis. I at mean the end of the day, he's the king of heaven media, isn't he? Yep. So yeah. obviously, he controls the uh, the flow of the world. So yeah. Uh, not, like I say, I'm not sure what's going on. Obviously, Gonzo is going to be uh, going to be trying to get in touch with the admins over at the event because we have remote broadcasting. Uh, it does does mean that we can't actually get in direct touch with uh, with the admins. So um, it has led to some some confusion and some <laughs> some serious amount of feeling from uh, from from myself and Warclone. So. We're um, getting quite good at it, though. Yeah, we are getting I pretty good at waffling. I know you were good at it from uh, before, but I'm starting to get uh, comfortable uh, like looking at this camera now. What what I know is I'm looking at, uh, at thousands of angry CS gamers yep. who's furious that this game is paused. But for some reason, I'm just happy, and I, I'm just trying to look into your eyes and just say, it's okay, mates. It's fine. We, we will get back into the game as soon as possible. So just... Just hold hands and uh, give each other some love, really. Well, that's all we can do. And I tweet mean, Richard Lewis. Yeah, yeah, there, obviously, yeah. tweet your angry tweets to Richard Lewis. Yeah. Leave us out of it. We don't want any part of that. But <laughs> we're cool guys, so... Um, it looks like we are trying to reconnect now to the, uh, to, to the Go TV. so hopefully we'll be back in in a mere moment. Um, obviously, we, we have had some connect connection issues with the venue. Um, largely, well, th the Navi issue was obviously DDoS attack. Yeah. Which, you know, this could very well be. It doesn't look like that, to be honest. It looks like we're jumping straight back in. Um, and it's not like it's happened at the most inopportune moment possible, so um, probably well, just a connection issue at the venue. Considering to be what I'm seeing, oh, never mind. I'm, uh, let's see. You actually loaded in there? I'm stuck at retrieving game data. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, uh, it does look like a pause. Yeah. Uh, uh, since we got to reconnect onto the server without, uh, without any problems. I saw a slight movement here, and yeah, it seems as though we, go. we are live, live again. again. Yeah, so 4 3 the current scoreline. Freeze time now ticking down. We are going to see the this will be the third gun round of the first half so far. So this is one of those pivotal runs that can change the course of a game. I mean, with, with the game being as tight as it is right now, whoever takes the momentum here is almost assured the uh, the victory here in the first half of my money. So we are seeing Cappy very aggressive push through apps here. That will have been given away. I was going to say, it, yep, doesn't stop him from grabbing the frag though. <laughs> it's well CLY done. CLY in no position to stop that as he uh, came out of apps there on the the surprise push. Now, at this point now, TCM being down, you know, two men, what what would you be calling here? Would you be calling spreading weight for the pick, or...? Uh, to be honest, I would call for, uh, well, not what they're doing, Savras being uh, all ego, pushing up by himself in middle. Getting the kill, though, but he's uh, running into some problems by, um, at Cappy's place. Uh, basically, you're three versus three, or three versus two at one of the sites, so go together, stick as a unit. But Stavros just thought he would win the game by himself, uh, which in the end is a bit stupid, uh, to be honest. But oh, look at this, mate. <laughs> TCM Gaming just turning it around, making it 2v2, and Cappy all, all the way down to 13 HP, Jay. Yep, but you do have Guardian up with 100 HP. He's got a flashbang in reserve, and yeah. he's got it all. Speaking of which, he just picked up one kill, and he's going to try and take down get this uh, Tornado well, Tony here. Surely. You would think so, especially when Tony's movement's that bad. What's he doing? <laughs> there we go. There's the kill. And really, I mean, Guardian all on his own, though, you would have expected perhaps, you know, one flashbang and a, a split rush around the, the CT spawn area. And they could have cut him off real easily then. But then again, easy said than done. Guardian is one of those players who has a lot of game sense. Yeah. He doesn't easily fall into flank traps like that, does he? No, that's the thing, yeah. He's one of the best orpers around from Source. 
uh, and but at the same time, he's a pretty smart player as well. He uh, can you know play what? I'm, I'm going to go a little bit further and say he's one of the best offers from Sauce. I just think he's one of the best offers. Period. Oh, um, I mean, I, I know I'm going to get some hatred for this, but <laughs> um, like I, I honestly think that like Kshap was overrated, and people still yeah. bang on about how great he was. You know, oh, he was the best offer ever. It's like, well, no, he was playing in 1.3, 1.4. Yeah. Let's be honest. The, That's the like talent, saying the that he's the best of all time. Yeah, and now he was good. Yeah. He was good. Don't at, be wrong. At that time. Yeah. At that time. Yeah. But that was before the scene truly developed. Yeah. I mean, we, we didn't see one. S well, I say one six. We didn't see the original Counter Strike at its at its full until I would say about four years in. Yeah. At least four years. In. Oh, <laughs> Snake's getting two uh, nice kills there to secure that round for three D Max and uh, six to three. Well, it's not too bad for TCM yet. Uh, they got a full buy, every everything uh, equipped. So, but they do need to at least pick up three more rounds to uh, to not feel too down going up to that CT side. I think it's not enough with only five rounds on Inferno anymore. No, no, most definitely not. You, you need that safety margin. You need you need to be putting up those numbers on that uh, on that T side and, and getting the respectable scoring out of it. Because if you miss the pistols, you you're screwed to be honest. Now, HE going out towards Banana. A little bit of lag here. It looks like PHP is going to grab both of those headshots. Nicely done. Stavros going to be moving in for the AK-47 reply, but I think the damage has been done here to this Banana push. That's going to really slow it down. Smoke's not going to help the cause either. That's a very well-placed smoke there from PHP covering his angle. Looks like TCM have actually adjusted here, so let's let's move away from PHP. Auto director doesn't seem to have picked up on that yet. Let's see, we've got Stavi and... Who's that going to be within mid? I think that was going to be CLY. Who was CLY. Just the yep. They're going to be f no. F looks like they're just trying to get a lucky pick here, but again, at this level of play, you're not going to catch people peeking out of turn, are you? Well, there's some big personalities that might peek every every goddamn corner, a corner, but that's not something you bet the game on. So you kind of need to play a bit more normal and stable, that thing. I mean, well, the thing is, if PHP peaks, he's peaking because he's got a reason to peak. <laughs> so he is pretty yeah. much the only player on 3D Max who's going to play that aggressive for my money. So. Uh, does not stop in TCM though, TCM now moving in, CLY is going to get that plant, he is in a 2 on 1, he's got that bomb in his favour though, so he, if he can play this out for time, which it doesn't look like he's going to be able to because he's now pinned, fully anticipate. Oh wow, that's the oh. third kill from CLY, can he get the fourth one, can he clutch the round? Oh, no, wow. unfortunate. Guardian doing the smart thing, switching out that AWP for an AK-47. He's got the diffuse kit as well, so no sweat on the diffusal. Gonna grab his AK-47, finish up the round. That's now 7-3. So, um, 3D Max at this point, I, I think they're looking almost uh, almost a shoe in for the victory here because even if uh, even if TCM do manage to, to sort of break this momentum, it's going to have to be like three gun round victories to get them on an ethos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to say, I'm really impressed about uh, CLY's play there. Uh, oh. He got Guardian down to 14 HP as well. Yeah. I mean, really Guardian close. was quite lucky though because he, he should have had the drop. I mean, he knew the position. He had the angle coming around the fountain. Um, I, was, I, was, I was quite impressed with, with you know, how TCM even managed to get the bomb down that situation, yeah. let alone almost pulling out a four-man clutch after it. So, impressive play, but, but alas, not, not enough. to be enough. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's again, it's, it's that sort of syndrome of relying on just the one person, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you can't really rely on individual performances too much. You n you're never going to have a consistent team then. You need that. Uh, you need uh, to use your brain, use your team play, and that's kind of how you end up being the most successful team. Yep, PHP, smart play here. He's just holding his angle off, off uh, sort of T side of mid now, and he's waiting for them to push through. And it looks like we are going to see. That's going to be B-Dog with the, uh, the M4 frag on the CLY. PHP with the headshot and a second headshot to follow it up. Switches out to the pistol here. He's going to spray down. He's got Cappy to back him up. Cappy's going to drop uh, Stavros with the headshot from the M4. So the kill is most definitely not going in the favor of TCM here. It's going to leave Struggs as last man alive with just one HP. Could have been killed by a flashbang, but they decided the, uh, the M4 to the chest would get the job done. And uh, yeah, and again, another, another flawless round here for 3D Max. So they're not, they're not even doing slight cash damage against against the uh, the wins here. No, I mean, it's just not looking good for TCM, is it? No, it's not. I mean, they still have the room to pull this back. But y you're pointing out a really valid point here with the economy. It's just way too much money in the 3D Max camp right now. So uh, at this stage, it does look like TCM Gaming will. Uh, Will not be able to put up uh, quite a good fight, really. I think at this point, if they can walk away another two rounds, that's you know best of a bad situation, really. Yeah. Um, perhaps if they get a plant here, they should just bomb rush it, like you know, um, 
ESC style basically, get that bomb wow. down, hope for the best. You're probably not going to hold with the uh, the plant, but at least you get the extra, uh, you know, the extra three hundred dollars per person. Uh, we are seeing it looks like CLY last man standing. He is up in apps, but he's not going to be able to stop the defusal. Looks like he's just going to retreat. Did he manage to bag a weapon? Let's have a look. Indeed he did. So he's he's managed to salvage an M4. They got the plant out of that. So all things considered, I think that'd be, a, be considered a fairly successful round for TCM. Obviously not what they're looking for. They want rounds on the board, but um, it, it could have been worse, couldn't it? Yeah, well, they could not have had that plant and could not have saved that gun, so yeah. <laughs> can always be worse. 9-3, to three, Jay, it's starting to look that one-way traffic. Yeah, to be honest, given, given the time of day, I'm kind of appreciative of that, though. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, at least, you know, we have a chance of getting back at a reasonable time and uh, sort of refreshing ourselves for tomorrow, so. Yeah. Now, we are seeing, again, another app set up here from TCM. They've just not been aggressive enough on the exit, for my money. No, no. I mean, all how, how many times have we seen somebody jump down into pit and try and, you know, pick pick somebody off? It's 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 just not been happening. They've been pushing from apartments to quad, and uh, really, quad quad's probably the worst spot you could possibly push in Inferno because you got that crossfire. Yeah, if you play against a defensive uh, crossfire setup from CTs, it's which gonna is exactly be really what you can hard. see there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and like, they try to move over towards this B up, but Guardian, he's gonna get at least three kills here, Jay. There's one. Oh, see, let's try and drop, and drop our vision on him. He did manage to just narrowly miss that second shot. Now he does know the bomb's going down. Has a pot shot through the smoke. He's been known for that in the past. I remember, uh, what was it now? I think it was in an eye series. I remember Rattlesnake coming to me and being like, Guardian's not human. <laughs> um, yeah. And he was on Inferno as well. He was just picking, you know, through smoke at the bottom. Random shots, not, you know, not in intentional shots. Not like you can see through the smoke, but... As you can see, I mean, he is an outstanding opera. It's not going to be enough, though, as Tornado Tony does shut him down with the AK-47. So a much-needed round here for TCM. Um, if they do manage to pull out the two remaining rounds here, then I suppose they've managed to salvage what should have been uh, you know, a comfortable victory for, for 3D Max here. And they, they've kept themselves in contention. But to be perfectly honest, I don't see that happening. Even if uh, 3D Max lose this round, they're going to be able to buy out for the remainder of this half, aren't they? Yeah, well, pretty much. They, they will be forced to have an eco at least the last round, but... Uh, still, if uh, TCM Gaming manages to get six rounds, they can be happy about that because they turn the game around then and uh, they can grab that momentum and move over towards the easier side of the map. So uh, obviously it's, uh, it wouldn't be game over if they uh, start actually making some good plays here. Well, speaking of good plays, Cappy putting down the suppression on the apps rush. Did manage to tag both Strugs and uh, CLY. And we are seeing Stavros jump down into the pit. This is the first time I've really seen a pit push here from TCM. And it's so important that you actually get control of that pit because it affords you the cover onto the bomb site where you can uh, you can cut the rotation basically. Yeah. And it, it does keep that bomb a hell of a lot safer. Obviously, you've, uh, you've got what's called defilade where you've got a little bit of cover from the steps as well. So you have a really, really defendable spot. And as you can see, it's forcing PHP to waste his nade onto the pit. That probably didn't even connect, to be honest. In fact, I'm looking at the, the health. No, it did not. So. Snake some PHP here with a, a very unenviable task, and it's not going to happen. Stavi peeks out of that pit, so really, what, what did TCM take from that? Did they take more importance of pit here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it, it's hard to be the expert commentator when you're f uh, that smart at the game as well. Like, controlling that pit area is really the difference between holding that after plant and not holding it. Because you have total vision of every entry point, yep. and uh, you can dodge flashes easily from everywhere. And uh, so, if they keep on pushing, and if they can get that man down in pit, I think they can easily take that A bomb. Yeah. So it's, it's it's not only the fact that you can cover the angles; it's the fact that even if they manage to get a, a re-entry for the retake, um, so many flashbangs are going to be burned on on control in pit yeah. that it leaves the guys on site pretty much free to open up with the uh, the AKs as they approach. So. Um, it's it's even even if you get you know completely just flashbang to, to to oblivion in pit, it's still worthwhile because you're taking up all those flashbangs and it's not like those flashbangs that are hit in pit are affecting anybody but the person in pit in pit. Exactly. Whereas the ones on site, you know, if you've got two people on site, obviously, unless they're, they're at stupid angles where they can't you know they can't really cover each other, yeah. they're they're going to be completely flashbanged and they're going to see nothing but white for like the majority of the round. So. Oh. Um, anyway, we're going to see the final round of the first half now underway. 9-5 the scoreline. TCM looking for what, what would be a really good result here considering that they were getting dominated at one point. Now PHP looking to, uh, oh, to get wow. it back on track here as we see. Well, now that is reminiscent of the old Reason game in that banana shutdown just decimating the uh, TCM guys. And there we go, Guardian through the smoke. 
just to, uh, to, 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 <laughs> to make sure that the 1-6 guys watching can accuse him of hacking. Uh, he does decide <laughs> to, to put down a bit of spray and pray and does manage to connect. So looks like we've got a bit of an unready coming in, so we're not going to have an automatic start here on the second half. Um, Walkline, what, what did you see there? I mean, TCM showed some resilience, didn't they? Yeah, uh, the game is far from over. Uh, if TCM manages to pick up this uh, first round of the second half, uh, they can actually capitalize on it. Because uh, even though they didn't, uh, even though they didn't win that last round, I think they kind of have the momentum now. Because they, they, I think at the very least they've got confidence. Where it's like yeah. we're not going to be completely shot out no. of this game now. If if we just do the right things at the right times and you know the kills go our way, we, we can we can get in. We can plant that bomb. We can defend it. Um, no. Speaking of defending, it looks like we're going to see the first kill coming in from CLY. That's going to be a headshot onto Cappy. Stavros and company just trying to dig in on this covered site. It looks like we're going to see PHP drop. Now that is a key kill. Guardian going to be moving around towards the back of site here. Is he going to be able to oh, get the kills wow. in? No, he shut down. It looks like oh, B Dog coming up though. Final man standing here for uh, 3D Max. Two on one situation. Buys himself a bit of space with the grenade. Is that a smoke that's going on? Yep, it was indeed a smoke. He's managed to grab the bomb. Now he did see where that tracer came from, so he knows there's at least one member of TCM that's going to be Flo on the corner here. Flo smells something's up. Yeah. Ah, oh, well played. That by was Flo. such good play. Really well done by Flo. He ba he baited that into thinking it was he'd, he'd actually gone library though. Yeah. And the, the the second that you take one on one, you take your eye off one corner like that. That's you as good as sealed on death warrant. So. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if he made footsteps towards towards. Um, uh, I don't think library. he did, no. I don't, I don't think it was that, that sort of elaborate of a fake. And to be honest, I don't, I don't think um, any, anybody from 3D Max would fall for a fake like that, to be honest. Um, CLI really being the difference that round, getting three kills defending that bomb site, which uh, pretty much uh, gets TCM Gaming back into this game. Uh, probably will be looking at a, a more like 8 to uh, 10 scoreline, uh, only two rounds deficit uh, for TCM. So unless they uh, meet some overpowered blocks here. Oh, looks like Flo going to be trying to defend this banana bomb site. Flo with the hat trick of kills. It looks like Tornado Tony's going to mop up the fourth one, just leaving uh, PHP here on banana. He does manage to uh, to stay alive with that deagle. I was going to say deagle then. Uh, so used to seeing PHP rocking deagle. Obviously the, the, uh, the Glock that he had. Did manage to grab himself an SMG, but that is now removed. And well, the standard sort of eco bashing coming in. Um, not so standard actually, I mean PHP did manage to grab himself a frag though, so a little bit of cash on the board. 7-10 the scoreline now, TCM down on the CT side here, but the momentum is in their favour and uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see this end in a close game considering that at one point it looked like 3D Max were just going to steamroll. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of that as well, like uh, one team winning seven rounds with ease and then the other team just suddenly turns it around and like, oh no, we're better than you and uh, just clean kills them without losing any players on the teams. It's, it's been a weird tournament, yeah. to say the least. Yeah, we've run the gambit on sort of results. I mean, we've had games where we've had those, you know, like pendulum momentum switch where you, switches where you get one, two rounds, yeah. one to two rounds, and it's back and forth. Uh, we've seen games where it's been on the verge of being a blowout, and then one team's managed to, you know, claw the way back into it. And we've obviously seen such close games that we've had, you know, three ties in the group stages. So. Yeah. Uh, the, the level of play has been nothing short of miraculous here, and it, it does bode well for CSGO. Hopefully the, uh, the community can stop you know, the internal bickering and all the kind of bullshit that comes along with, and uh, we can pull ourselves together and start you know, putting on a challenge for uh, eSports e supremacy, because we have the game, we have the, uh, the functionality built into the game, yep. we already have the websites up and running, it's just a case of... Uh, not you know, screwing it up. Yeah, not, not being cannibals and just destroying our own <laughs> scene, basically. Um, oh, that's, that's flow in a great position here. Will he manage to get that kill? He gets the first one, and PHP on pretty much just 15 HP, but he manages to get past him. So as you can see, he's looking towards the library. He knows that there's somebody in there by the looks of it, but uh, he shut down, takes his eye off flow just at the wrong time. Uh, is, is Snake's going to do the same thing here. No, it looks like he's going to go for the plant. Two on one situation, flow now moving into sight. He's going to be coming in the flank. Strug still yet to move though, and I think that's a bit of a mistake here. What, what do you think, Walkman? Obviously not. <sighs> uh, well, uh, hard to say, really hard to call. Uh, no, I don't think it was a mistake. It's hard to say, really. I suppose if you can draw fire one direction and you're quick enough off the mark out of pit, then you can catch them from behind, I suppose. Yeah. Um, ideally, you want to you want to make that push at the same time. Yeah. Not always possible. It's the norm, really. Like yeah. Obviously, two against one will uh, yield a higher chance of success than one versus one, and then another one versus one. 
Well, as you can see from the uh, Alien Wars scoreboard, we've got 25 frags on Guardian, leading the way with just eight deaths. So he's uh, he's above that free, that magic three to one kill to death ratio. Uh, second place is going to be PHP on 18 and 10. So good rifle backup from PHP. Um, it's to be expected, though. I mean, yeah. way, way back in, in, in the old reason days, PHP and Guardian had each other's backs. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't surprise me that in 3D Max it's much the same. So, Oh, Flo with two nice headshots here. Can he hold this up by himself, maybe? He knows that there's a lot of terrorists sitting behind that barbecue over there. Well, yeah, lots of Glock fire, but no damage being done to those CTs, and Guardian's going to be finally shut down. So your standard eco bash is... Follow it fully either way now, and this is where it should get interesting, isn't it, Walkler? Well, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to call uh, at this stage who's going to win it. I thought that TCM was out of it, really. But they kind of got those two important rounds at the very end of that first half, which gave them the uh, momentum. And when they then won the first la the pistol round of the second half, it, uh, everything opened up for them, and you can see every single player playing a lot better. Do you know what I think is going to be the difference maker, though? Guardian making the plays on yeah. the T side. If if he can get the openings on banana or mid, you know, bring in the rotation in time. Yeah, that's that is going to be a huge difference maker. The fact that he is now playing with the AWP, um, you know, it's 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 basically if we would have seen that on Nuke, I don't think they would have been in the the extended group stage. No, I think they would have gone through in second place. Stupid, stupid choice to not have him while being on uh, on Nuke. To be honest, you could put him on uh, on ramp or or outside where he played, and he'd do a fantastic job. Uh, so quite surprised to see and it just adds to the surprise that it's actually using it on other maps well, yeah. I, I see the uh, I see the it's necessary for an, uh, to use an op on you at least uh, from what I believe in yeah playing outside most definitely yeah I mean obviously fret fret disagrees with us you, you can argue <laughs> that you could you could double flash and rush yeah, no yeah, red yeah. Um, but that only works so many times and to be honest if, if that's your strategy, you're burning two flashbangs just to make positional gain on the CT side. How pointless is that? Yeah, he needed like he can start off with an M4, but when he saw he lost out every round, he should have switched back to the uh, AWP. But here comes the push from 3D Max. Will CLI be, man, uh, be able to stop him? No. Jay, what's happening? Well, as you can see, I've kept the focus on guiding here because I do want to emphasize how great an offer he is. There's the kill on to Stavros. Did take quite a few bullets. Oh, wow. wow! That is a big kill on Pit. Not only was it a headshot, but I mean, it just came at the most appropriate time. Now, it's still not going to stop TCM from picking up the victory here, but that was impressive play nonetheless from Guardian. Um, just a shame for uh, 3D Max that he didn't actually manage to clutch the round for his team. Anyway, for the first time since a long time, we have an even game here. As you can see from the scoreboard, it's, it's not really reflected in the scores, though, is it? I mean, you're seeing sort of a, an overall team performance from TCM, <laughs> I think you could say. Yeah. And then you're seeing from 3D Max sort of Guardian and PHP leading the way. Yeah, it's... Uh some 27 kills now, Guardian, and that's the difference between him with a rifle and him with a sniper rifle. Well, speaking of rifle, he does have a rifle in hand at the moment, so he's here with an AK-47. Obviously, money being a bit of an issue now for 3D Max, it does mean that they're uh, forcing a sort of light buy, so... Maybe a little bit of panic setting in here, I think. They, they want to try and stem this momentum and, and just stop the tide, but... Uh, to be quite honest... <laughs> You're not going to do that with, with a light buy against TCM. I mean, TCM have already shown us that they know how to, uh, how to hold a site and how to slope a push, how to do enough damage to the entry where if, uh, if you're not coming with flashbangs, you're probably going to get knocked back at least nine times out of ten. Yeah, and ten times more safer it should uh, if they just eco this round and just lost it yep. and then have Guardian with an AWP. Yeah. Now, now there's a very good chance, I would say, that it's going to have to be a double eco. Yeah. I mean, if, uh, if Guardian bought that off off his own back, I do, I do perceive that being a double eco off the back of this. Stavros here with the opening kill onto B Dog, as we like to call him, uh, which does make the uh, push onto uh, this A bomb side a bit weaker as CLY picks up another kill, another kill. And uh, wow, Guardian, you're a good player, but you do not have an off in hand. Yep, and it's just too much for him to do, though. Four on one situation. He was obviously trying to back out down mid, but he's just not, not anywhere near getting away, though, so. Uh, basically now you've seen a situation where 3D Max here, if they're not careful, they're going to see this game getting away from them. Yeah. And we're seeing basically now a full eco coming in. So, well, I say full eco, we've got a couple of nades on Cappy and Guardian, so they're going to be looking to uh, to perhaps get, you know, maybe a ninja out of this or something, but really, that's that's the only way they're going to break the momentum on this round if, if they manage to pull off something super sneaky. 
And you can see Stabby though with a big HE onto that mid rush. He does manage to, uh, to pick up one frag, but that is now an AK in the hands of... Who's that going to be? That would have been... I think that was uh, B-Dog who's got it. Yep, it is. And he's now moving over towards the library. Obviously, we are getting a bit of lag here. We are casting off, uh, off Gold TV, so I do apologize oh. about that. But second kill coming in from, from, from B. Looks like we are going to see Struggs on the retake. Not going to be able to stop the plank going down, though. And now we are seeing a situation where it is a two-on-one. So let's jump over to Flo. Flo on the rotation here from the banana bomb site. He's been moving into what used to be the uh, Moto Pit. Obviously, the CSS fans know that that was removed a long time ago. And I, I think rightfully so. I think Moto Pit made the map very unbalanced. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to admit that I miss it. Only when I'm playing. Yeah. When I'm casting, I don't miss it. No, when I'm no, playing, no. I do miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that and the netted boost on, on the corner as well. Yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah. also pretty cool about 1-6. Um, th those were all things that put what was already a CT-sided map a little bit further towards CT bias. Yeah, I, uh, I still think it was 9-6, but I think it was more 9-6. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Well, anyway, the uh, look at the 23rd round here of this game. And really, we've, we've it all still to play for. Um, but you do have to, you do have to say that TCM now in the in the driver's seat here. They've got the ascendant position. They've got the bank balance to play with. Now we do have a gun round, of course. So we could very well see a situation unfold here where uh, where 3D Max do manage to get an entry in a plant. But from what we've seen so far, I mean, Cappy and PHP are both down. Both of them solid players. It's only really going to leave um, you know the three players to to do 500 damage. That's it's a tall order, to be quite honest, even for players the calibre of uh, the, the three remaining from 3D Max here. Now, you can see a heavy rotation coming in. Tornado Tony very quick on that rotation. Let's drop you onto Guardian, because if anybody's going to make the plays here, it's going to be Guardian. Looks like we are going to switch back over towards Quad. Now, are they going to fake over towards Banana here? Or is, is Guardian going to drop into Pit? Let's see. They do have the time. They've got, they've got the time to sell a Banana fake here, actually. But I, I just don't think TCM are going to buy it. Well, they might do, but here, Snake's got picked off here by, uh, uh, by Strux, so it's going to be half of them. Oh, Guardian down to 4 HP. Uh, B-Dog manages to get up that, uh, get one kill, but now they know the position of both players and Strux. Yeah. Uh, Time to leave. What are you doing, man? Yeah. This Save is that weapon. That is a weird choice by Guardian. Yeah, that's, that's very uncharacteristic for Guardian. Nine, nine times out of ten, you would see him retreat out of that yeah. and just save that AK, pass it off to a teammate, and then pick up an AWP and force the buy. Obviously, that's not going to happen, though, no, because, well, we're back on another eco. So as much as I predicted, we have two ecos in a row, um, which should... What are we doing here? And we actually... 3D Max seem to be just debating at spawn what we're going to be doing this round. So a very slow start here. It seems like a little bit of maybe dissension in the ranks, do you think? Usually when you do see teams like that hanging around spawn, they're obviously discussing where they're going to go. But usually that means that the call is not being listened to and somebody's contradicting. Yeah, some, uh, someone's trying to counter call him, and uh, that's never a good sign, at least not when you're under... Uh, so yeah, the, the score of the second half is 7-1 to one, uh, in favour of TCM, so it does look like TCM will be able to, uh, to, uh, to win this game, Jay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, there's, there's nothing so far that 3D Max have done here on this T side that makes me believe otherwise, so... Um, I mean, they've been pretty smart on the actual, you know, the pushes into... Uh, the actual setup and, and you know the way they're flashing into sites and such, but just not able to, to get to pick the frags up. I mean, TCM have just basically they've given up position, but then pushed back and refragged. Yeah, and it's it's been usually been before the bombs even gone down. So um, ev even though 3D Max have had position on numerous bomb sites, they've not really been able to capitalise on it, and uh, definitely not been able to defend the plant really. So kind of unfortunate for them, but Sailor V <laughs> just being outplayed. They did uh, pick off Tornado Tony now, though, and he's been the uh, he's uh, currently top fragging for his team, so uh, that might make the entrance here a bit easier. But as I say that, obviously the commentator curse just contradicts it, and it's uh, down to two v three. J. Yep, Flo, the only man with, uh, in fact, no, sorry, Snikes also has 100 HP, but he's in a distinct disadvantage. As uh, it looks like we are going to see Snikes drop uh, drop Stavros. Flow, last man standing, only 12 HP to remove though, and it looks like he's just going to play that. Yeah, he's going to play that smart. He's going to play the clock down, retreat, and make sure that the uh, the terrorist just didn't get the plant in time. So, again, another good round though for TCM. Even though they lost four members, it was against a full buy, and uh, as you can see, Snakes did manage to get out of his AK, but he's the only member with a weapon here. So, you would ex you'd anticipate this going 14-11, wouldn't you? Yeah, without a doubt, I don't see them uh, clutching this. Uh on the back of an, uh, of an AK and two flashes, that's not enough. Uh, they have to be extremely lucky with the pistols here. 
But yeah, we, we're probably going to see a 14 to 11 uh, uh, and then a buy round. And that's going to be a huge round in this game, Jay. Yep. Now I do like what 3D Max did though. They didn't boost the AK up though. They ah. boosted a Glock because if somebody, you know, somebody wielding a Glock gets dropped by the AWP from the back of sight, yeah, so be it. Yeah. At least we now know where that AWP is. Um, in fact, do we, I don't think we've, we've not seen any AWPs from TCM so far at all. They've been playing exceptionally passive. They've not had anybody like Guardian who's been peeking. So um, the, the peek onto the site was obviously to establish if there was somebody hiding like a ninja spot or something. So. Uh, smart play, but it's just it, like I say, you can you can have the you know the smartest strats in the world, but if you're not capable of executing, it, uh, it doesn't amount to anything at the end of the day, does it, Walker? No, no. Well, execution is pretty much the most uh, important uh, bit of a tactic. Like you can have the best setups and flashes in the world, but if you don't u utilize the flashes you put down, then why would you put them down? Yeah, you basically just throw money away at that yeah. point. Um, not saying not saying the 3D Max have they have capitalized on the flashbangs that they've made. It's just the counter flashes from TCM have been better than the uh, than the initial flashbangs. Now the bomb being dropped up mid. It looks like we are going to see two M4s open up. That's going to be uh, Tornado Tony for the last kill onto B Dog. Uh, now makes the scoreline 14-11 in favour of TCM here. So just one round away from securing the. Uh, in fact, how would this work? Is this going to be best of three or is it going to be best of one? No, I think this, uh, it's still best, best of, of one. one. It's, yeah, uh, it's so. still group so stages. So uh, if we do get a draw, then I imagine we would have overtime. I don't think so, no. So how would they go? Would they do it off round difference then? Uh, probably round difference, mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, if there's, uh, if uh, it's still the same score and same round difference, uh, then we'd have to do some form of overtime. Yeah, it would, I would automatically switch up to 10k MR3, I would imagine. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Not uh, entirely certain. as uh, I haven't really read the rule book in and out. Well, a very slow start here to what could be the uh, the game point round for TCM. So Guardian just trying to bait out as much uh, as much fire as possible here, trying to establish positions before he starts to call them. Doesn't look like Flo is going to be flash flashed into a retreat, but nobody there to really capitalise on it. Now, good flashbang down mid. That's going to slow the uh, the mid push here. We've got grenades coming in as well, so it does seem like TCM have uh, have realised that it is going to be an apartment stack. They are, they are starting to move guys into position to deal with that, as you can see. Uh, Who's that going to be that's moving around? That's going to be Stavros who's moving around the back of the bomb site. So he's going to be covering the app's exit. At what point do 3D Max start selling fakes here? Because they have to do something a little bit, you know, untowards here to, to try and get back in the game, don't they? Yeah, well, if there's uh, if they want to sell fakes, then they kind of need to start doing it now, considering it's 14 to 11. But uh, saying that, they, they've actually got three guys in sight now. They don't, they can't lose the player there to CL, uh, TS, to CLY. It's now down to 2v2 and he can just do the spray down and go for that defuse and uh, wow, Game just point. lining up in a 2v2 like that, is, uh, it's, un it's unacceptable. Yeah, to be honest, they wouldn't have got the plant if, um, if whoever it was that got dropped first though hadn't been acting as a meat shield. Well, yeah, but, but I mean, he could have he moved to the corner and held the library that way. Yeah, I, I would rather have the bomb guy uh, getting picked off because then they, he would be one v2 and maybe picked up the round. Yeah, yeah. But that way, like, it doesn't matter if you're with me shield if uh, he just sprays through it anyway. So. Yeah, if he drops both of you, then yeah. what, what's the point in being the meat shield in the <laughs> exactly. first place, I suppose? And the only thing they got out of that was the money for the plant. So, And at this stage of the game, money's not the factor. It's, it's the momentum that's, that's, that's breaking 3D it's Max's uh, back here. Yeah, it's, like, it's basically points. It's rounds. So they've now gone into match point. It's 15 to 11. And TCM Gaming are looking rather, rather good here. They'd They've really clawed their way back into it, of being uh, at a really high deficit uh, in the first uh, first half here. I think as we speak right now, Jim's twiddling his goatee and he's, he's quite happy with his guys because they have put in uh, a performance that, to be honest, I, I knew this was going to be a close game. Um, well, I say new. I mean, it's, it's not been as close as we would hope, though, has it? I mean, the first half was relatively close. Uh, nine, was it, did it finish 9-6 the first no, half? No, yeah. Wasn't it? No, it was 10 to 5. 10 to 5, 10 yeah. 5. Okay, so relatively close in the first half, but we haven't seen anything from 3D Max here that's, that's made me believe that they're going to do anything sort of untowards to change the momentum here and pick up four rounds to bring it to a draw. So I think we're going to see uh, TCM going through in the first of the, uh, the, the group stage extension slots. Does look that way, Jay, as uh, Flo picks up two <laughs> wonderful headshots. Nice to done that as well, yeah. That was impressive. And that's going to be the final frag, so GG's being exchanged. Doesn't